those mouth, those jaws are going, 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 going. And you know that you've got a cannon right here. And you know that just a few words could solve the situation. But you also feel the restraining power of the Holy Spirit. You know, that's a measure of suffering when you're pulling your flesh back and you're offering yourself before the Lord. It's not easy. It's not easy. It's like you had many times you'll have to hang on that cross. You'll have to hang on that cross. Now, remember, Jesus is our Lord and Savior. He's our perfect example. You can't get any better. He hung on that cross not because of his sins. He didn't have any. He hung on the cross for us. For our sins, it was the innocent that died for the guilty, so the guilty could be innocent, could be made innocent. So when Jesus hung on that cross, he was innocent of the charges. Absolutely. Pilate even saw that and testified that this man has done nothing wrong, but yet and still he hung on that cross. Accusation after accusation, but he hung on that cross. And uh, when they questioned him, he did not say one word. He trusted in the Father. That's that's incredible. That's an incredible uh, testimony and also an incredible amount of pressure, incredible amount of pressure. There are times when you will have to hold your peace. Now, I'm not sure who I'm talking to tonight, who the spirit of the Lord is talking to. But there are times when you are absolutely right, when you have done nothing wrong, but they still nah, 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 nah. Those mouth, those jaws are going, 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 going. And you know that you've got a cannon right here. And you know that just a few words could solve the situation. But you also feel the restraining power of the Holy Spirit. And you're saying, Lord, yeah, that's not your will for me to do this. That's not your will. I'm going to hold back and I'm going to trust you for my deliverance. I'm going to trust you for my salvation. Thinking again about the life of Jesus when they were taken in for the time of crucifixion. You know, Peter whipped out a sword. Yes, he did. He Peter whipped out a sword and said, um, you know, well, well, he what do you do? He he clipped the, the high priest. Uh, ear or one of the soldiers ear off right Jesus you know picks the ear back up and pops it on the man's head and and uh, and and heals him and he said Peter don't you know that I could call down 12 legions of angels don't you know that I could do something about this now I feel this persecution in my family I feel this persecution I feel the things that are going on with me I feel it I know it's real but I know my destiny and I know what God has called me to do